What professional service can you hire to work on spec? Think about this. A seller can get a real estate agent to do a market analysis on their property, draft a listing contract, do staging, do photography, write sales copy, publish their property online, on a paid platform, post a sign, place a lockbox, facilitate showings, and remember, all of this is done before an offer is received and before a month-long escrow begins. And if the seller doesn't change their mind, they pay nothing, zero, nada. How about working with a buyer, driving a showing after showing, week after week, drafting 30-page offers again and again, and if the buyer doesn't give up and you finally get an offer accepted, only then does a whole new job start. And if not, all that work is done for free. So I can't help but to shake my head at all these comments I see about how overpaid agents are when they're actually so criminally underpaid. A recent comment asked why agents can't get a flat fee like everyone else in a real estate transaction. Who's everyone else? Because escrow gets paid based on the sales price, the title insurance premium is based on the sales price, the mortgage lender commission is based on the sales price, liability insurance is based on the sales price. Were they all working for free prior to an accepted offer? How about call the county and ask why the transfer tax is based on the sales price rather than a flat fee? Now, some agents already do charge a flat fee, so that pokes a hole in your revolutionary flat fee idea. But what I find even more annoying is when critics assert how if agents don't accept a minimal fee, then consumers should just hire an attorney instead. Have these people never worked with an attorney before? An attorney charges you to make a copy. Do you think these cheapskates could stomach an attorney showing up at an inspection at $300 an hour? How about writing offer after offer for a buyer at $300 a pop? Imagine getting a bill for the time an attorney spent calling photographers. Now, I will say two agreeable parties could hire an attorney to draft a contract. That makes sense. But the idea that you can replace the whole real estate experience of an agent with an attorney is absurd. A more appropriate question is how agents can set boundaries so they minimize working for free and maximize working for a commission. Because the truth of the matter is that these cheapskates and critics, they're not the problem. They're either not going to hire an agent or hire some low price, low quality service that just affirms their biases. Even the money grab lawsuits and subsequent NAR settlement aren't the issue. There's only one thing that allows for agents to be underpaid and that is ourselves. Each individual agent is running their own business, a professional service in which their time and guidance is for sale. If boundaries aren't set and you don't set a standard for what your time is worth, then it's a race to the bottom. Why is it that someone selling a home would choose a local expert rather than another agent who offers a super duper low flat fee? And why is it that same local expert keeps getting business when she's more expensive than the super low fee agent? The answer is that she knows her value and most importantly she knows when to say no thanks for watching